Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Crafting with Cosplay Fabrics. My name is Indra and today I want to show you how to make ornate filigree designs for cosplay using hot glue. For this tutorial I'm using these silicone molds and these are meant for either soap making or resin or things like that and you can find these online. I found these particular ones on Amazon. I've shown how to use these with foam clay before but I also wanted to show you how you can use hot glue with these which is perfect for a really cheap way alternative also to using resin and the nice thing about this is that uh, these are things that you can just hot glue onto your costumes so let's get started so what you want to do is use high temperature hot glue for this Make sure that your hot glue is very hot and that you have a lot of hot glue sticks on hand. You may have to do this in parts depending on how large the um, item that you want to make is. So really it's just working in parts and doing it little by little. This particular one, because it is so deep, I have to kind of go in layers. So just keep doing that until you have your whole mold filled. Once your mold is completely filled, wait for it to be completely cool before trying to get it out of the mold. So when you pull it off, it should come off like no problem. You're also going to see that you might have a few uh, bubbles. That's the great thing about hot glue is that you can always use the tip of your hot glue gun to kind of go over and make some little, while it's still hot, to make some little uh, adjustments here and there. You can also cut any of like that excess, which is another wonderful reason why this is so easy to use is because you can just use regular scissors to cut some of that excess off. Or you can also use, again, the little tip of like the hot glue gun. And this needs to be very hot, so be very, very careful if you decide to do it this way to kind of just go over those uh, edges. And that is basically it. Next you can just paint it or add any more details to it but because it is hot glue it, you can just like add extra hot glue to the back of something and then uh, glue it straight to your garment. This is perfect for not just props and things like that but also adding some extra filigree designs that look like hardware on your actual sewn costumes, your soft pieces. Let me show you some extra things that you can do with this. Once you have your piece completely cleaned off, you can paint it with acrylic paint. And I recommend these treasure gold ones because it doesn't take very many layers. This is just two layers of paint. And I recommend either stippling it on or sponging it on. Uh, just a few layers is okay. And you can also paint the back if you want a more opaque um, result but this works really 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 well and because it has that antique gold sort of uh, luster to it it, genu it it does not look like hot glue it actually looks very very metallic another thing that you can do is use pigments and I'm using this this is actually makeup this is a great uh, way to use pigments instead of micas. Um, I have some people like to use those to color their um, molds beforehand. And I have experimented with this with the hot glue. I don't know if it also works for other methods, but with the hot glue, it works really well. And this is just makeup pigments. And this one is in a Venetian. So it, it's really beautiful copper color. And basically what you do is just you dust this pigment and you just use a fluffy brush and you just dust it straight onto the mold just like that. Make sure you get it in all of the grooves and everything before you add the hot glue to it. And then you get a really awesome like already done paint job. And it has little to no transfer, like I'm rubbing my fingers right on top of it and very, very little. So if that's straight out of the uh, um, mold, uh, this is what it looks like. 
I all I did was just cut off all of like that little like edging and stuff but that's what it looked like right straight out of the mold so all you do is just add like a spray clear coat to seal all of that or a sealant if you prefer but this is another great method to do uh, a metallic finish on these so you can see the difference between like painting it or using it and then you can if you do this method then you can go in with a clear coat and then doing some extra weathering to just really get those details to pop so you have two methods of painting or finishing your pieces to create these beautiful filigrees for your costumes and that's it i hope that you like this tutorial i hope this gives you an idea on how to make these beautiful designs for your cosplays and that this becomes a great alternative to resin that you might already have these materials on hand thank you guys again so much for watching i hope you like and subscribe and i'll see you soon for another tip trick or tutorial featuring cosplay fabrics Bye bye